Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and in this brief video I'm going to show you a few diagnostic tips to figure out what might be wrong with your cable modem if you lose service. It can save you some time uh, from being on the phone with technical support because sometimes they don't really know what's going on. So um, anyway, here's a basic uh, Mediacom modem. It's Scientific Atlanta. Scientific Atlanta is the, uh, the unit and the model is on here somewhere. Um, oh well, I can't find it. But uh, anyway, this is just a basic cable modem. And what can happen sometimes that I want to show you is when you plug in the power, if all the lights go solid and they stay solid, that indicates there's a problem with the modem. It's not doing what's called training up or communicating. Um, so here, what we should see is lights flickering a little bit. It should establish a cable connection. And if you have DSL, it would be establishing a DSL connection. But in this example, it's Mediacom cable is what we're doing a test with. Um, once that is established, then you should get these other lights blinking, just kind of an on diagnostic as it's turning on. And now I'm going to plug in here the Ethernet cable. That could be connecting to a PC, as the light indicates, or it could even be just a router of some kind. And as information is being sent and received to and from the router, you're going to get send and receive lights blinking. But with this modem, what was happening uh, was it was behaving erratically. All those lights were solid. We weren't getting any blinking from it. So we thought, well, let's unplug the power, plug the power back in. And again, all the lights went solid, stayed solid. And the technician at the other end, interestingly, at Mediacom that we talked to, said, oh, it looks like everything's great from here. I can see your modem's working fine. So he had us getting out different computers, connecting different computers, trying different settings, trying to ping Google, etc. All a waste of time. Uh, bottom line was the problem was with the modem, and unfortunately they couldn't diagnose it from there. Well, yeah, here it is. It's San Scientific Atlanta Model 2100. That's what it is. So anyway, typically when you have problems, you want to just unplug the power and then wait a little while because there can be um, some power left in the box for a moment after you've unplugged the power. But then plug it back in, and again, if the lights are just all solid and you don't see it kind of going through its initial startup process, that's an indication there could be a problem. Uh, and if you have erratic performance from a cable modem, a DSL modem, or a router, uh, know that sometimes, like the ports on the back of a router, sometimes a port can fail. Um, or sometimes a router can fail where it's actually working but not working properly and so you'll get a slow connection or an erratic connection that's there sometimes and not there other times. So anyway, um, today is Thursday, the 20th of August 2009. We're going to have a technician come out on Saturday and, and take a look at this modem, hopefully replace it out with something that's a little more reliable. We've only had service for a few days and we're already having some technical problems with the modem. So. Uh, that's about it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch through resourcesforlife.com. Thanks!